because it's hard to make something from yeah. scratch. Trust so, me. Now, did you know that colors actually have a hidden meaning? I already have a logo, so how often should I change it? Welcome to the journey. Today, we're gonna cover tips to make a great logo that will empower your brand. All right, Neely, so think about a logo. I know it brings me back to when I first started copying kickflips mm -hmm. and thinking about what I wanted my logo to do, who I wanted to speak to. There was a lot of right. intent involved, right? Purpose, but can you speak to that a little bit more? Yeah, your logo, it should be intentional. You shouldn't just create some random thing. Like you're copying kickflips, you don't want a picture of a rocket ship or something on it, right? Yeah, your logo. No sense. It has to be about your brand and your business, and it has to really represent you. So that's why it's super important to be intentional with what your logo is, because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's that's what people remember. Like mm -hmm. they see your logo somewhere, like oh, it's coffee and kickflips, or oh, that's Nike, or oh, that's Apple. Like they're iconic, and they mm -hmm. they represent that brand. All right, Neely. So I know there are different types, different kinds of logos right. out there. Like with Apple, it's just a logo. Uh, Google, it's the words. Yeah. So what else is there? So there are fundamentally three different types of logos that you can create. There's letter mark, there's word mark, and then there's brand mark. Now what these actually mean. So word mark, that's like Google, like you brought up. That's mm -hmm. literally just a word, right? And that's your logo itself. All right, now the second option is a letter mark. Mm -hmm. So think of just initials, right? So I know on your phone, do you have any icons or logos that are just initials? Oh, Facebook and Pinterest. Perfect, right? All right, which brings me to the last one, the brand mark. These are just icons or symbols, mm -hmm. like Apple, like you brought up. Mm -hmm. What are some other things that are just iconic with just a symbol? Oh, Instagram. Oh, and Twitter. Yep, those are just little symbols, right? But they mean so much more. You see the Instagram logo or the Twitter logo, you don't just say, oh, that's Bird, oh, that's Canberra. Yeah. You know, that's Instagram, that's Twitter. Right. And then the fourth option, little bonus tip for you is, a combination. Like I know you with coffee and kickflips yeah. had a combination, right? That's Which what ones we did. did you use? Uh, we had the words, coffee yep. and kickflip. Then we came up with a logo as well. Yeah, and on your site you have both, right? It's a super common to do, and you can use them interchangeably. All right, Neely. So I know a lot of time was spent on design when I was coming up with coffee and kickflips, uh, thinking a lot about color and I know there's more than that. There's more than just color. What else should we be considering when coming up with design? Yeah, um, so let's start off with kind of the basics of just framing, right? Like if you have a square box here, right? You don't want your logo to be in the entire box. You want mm -hmm. a little bit of negative space in it. Mm -hmm. So it's not super overwhelming and kind of look at the placement of the logo. Do you want it to be front and center? Do you want it to follow kind of the, the rule of thirds where it's on the side of it and it has a little bit more negative space. It makes it a little bit oh. more appealing. You know who changed it up recently? Who's that? Facebook. Oh yeah, they, didn't they move it over slightly? Yeah. You're all at home looking at your phones now, right? right? Like, oh gosh, it did change. Wait. Oh, it did. It's something that, that's not very noticeable, but it's more of just a little bit of a brand change for them. Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing you wanna think about is, does your logo look good at different sizes? Mm -hmm. Right now, what might look good, super humongous, blown up, may not look good as maybe an app icon or mm -hmm. a favicon or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's super important to think about. A little of. logo and a t-shirt or a hat. Yeah. I know you, you talked about it earlier with really figuring out the colors for your logo. What colors did you end up choosing for your logo? So I went with red, like for the skateboarder and the coffee cup because it's energy. And then I went with espresso brown for the coffee theme. So when I combined coffee and kick flips, it brought together the two. Yeah, you were really intentional with your colors, which is totally. super important. Now, did you know that colors actually have a hidden meaning? I have heard that like blue is supposed to be calming, right? Yeah, exactly, which is super cool why you chose red, especially having the skate park in the back. Red is boldness and excitement and just out there. Get amped. And then brown, not only does it represent coffee, like it's a pretty normal color, but mm -hmm. it also represents comfort. Like when I'm in your coffee shop, I wanna be comfortable because I'm mm -hmm. chilling before I go out the back and start skating, yeah. right? And coffee to me is a daily comfort. You yeah. know, it's the way I start my day every day. Perfect. And there, if you wanna really understand the different color theories, just go to Google, go to just search color theory and look up what each color means because if your brand represents one thing and you're using a different color, then it's going to throw off your audience. Mm -hmm. Like, wait, what are you all about? Because mm -hmm. even though we may not 
think about it right away. There's a subconscious that just instinctively knows. All right, and the last tip that I can give you with really making your logo is the font choices that you mm. use, right? If you're a coffee shop in a skate park, you probably don't wanna use a font that's just rigid and boring. You want something kind of out there. Now, oh. if you're a bank, you probably don't wanna use Comic Sans because that doesn't really build <laughs> trust or dependability. Yeah. That The font choice is everything. Google.com slash fonts has a ton of options to really kind of look for mm -hmm. to see what might be right for your business because there are plenty of fonts out there. Just make sure it represents you. Yeah. All right, Emma, do you want me to show you some examples of how I make a logo super fast? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, Ailey, so you obviously covered a ton of great tips on how to empower your brand. Yeah. Now I want to see, like you say you can design anything, but show me how it's done. Right, so a lot of us aren't just graphic designers or we haven't been doing this a long time. We need something that's just easy and quick, which is why yeah. time and time again, I'll always say check out Canva. It's free to use for the most part. And I love free. you can literally create anything. This is not an endorsement, I just love Canva that much. Um, so on Canva here, you can see there's create a design. Mm -hmm. There's lots of different things we can use, but we're making a logo. So I, of course, want to click logo. Got it. It'll take me to step one. Step one. <laughs> It'll take me to a new page and I have a blank canvas. This is where my logo is going to go. On the left hand side, it's going to give me templates, which is going to be super important because it's hard to make something from yeah. scratch. Trust so me. <laughs> this makes it super easy. Now you can scroll down and kind of check out all the different templates they have. And there's literally hundreds upon hundreds, but we're making a new one for coffee and kickflips. So we're going to go ahead and just search coffee up here. Now you can oh, do the same cool. with your business and just put your, your industry or your vertical or your niche, however you want to call it. Now what I can do is I can click on one of these and boom, it's right there. And now editing okay. it is even easier. So I like that font. Mm -hmm. Clicking in here, coffee and kickflips. Okay. So now if I want to move things around, I can click this coffee mm -hmm. pot looking thing and click and drag it over here. Okay. And if I want to scratch this, I don't like it. I'll pick a different Let's template. Let's scratch it. Okay. Sorry. You did coffee, which I like, but can I add something like we searched skateboarding so then I can get yes. an over. Okay. So on the left hand side, you have all your different options. So photos, you can get some pretty cool, just stock photos. And this is also free? Most of it's free. Okay, cool. Uh, it's like freemium. So some of their like premium content, they're gonna ask you to either pay for it mm -hmm. or they're gonna ask for you to pay for their subscription. It's how it exists, right? Yeah. But elements is where you wanna go. And elements, okay. You search skateboard. Yeah, let's so see what they skateboard. got. Or we could just throw in some photos of us, but. That's it. And bam, oh, cool. Look at all these skateboards. And you can kind of just scroll through and see what you want. Yeah, I want that. That's clean. How'd you know? It's like you read my mind. And then here. Yes. Coffee. Oh, this is Chris. Flips. An alternative to this is Adobe Spark. It's similar to Canva. Or there's some other free logo makers out there as well. This is just the one that I recommend for most first time users to get started. Yeah. All right, Neely. So I have a question that I'm sure a lot of you do at home. <laughs> I already have a logo. So how often should I change it? That makes sense. And if you really love your logo and it fits for you, probably potentially never. But if it's time to really modernize and maybe get a fresh look, that fresh coat of paint on the house, right? Mm -hmm. It might be time to really rebrand. All right, so I know I did my own logo. It was quite fun. But what if yeah. you don't want to do that and you don't find that to be fun? Yeah, and it's, it's okay, right? Some of us are not visually creative. They'd rather just hire a pro to make it look just amazing. Um, so there are freelancers, there are agency, there are design firms, there are all sorts of people that can make you a logo that is you. Now, again, with hiring anybody in the creative field, you want to really look at their portfolio because every designer, every agency has really their their style, I would call it, totally. of the logos that they mm -hmm. use. So their style may not be what you're looking for. Because at the end of the day, this is your brand, your vision. You want your logo to really represent that and elevate it. All right, so I hope you enjoy these tips. Make a great logo that will really empower your brand. And hey, let us know in the comments below, what was your favorite tip? Or give us a link to the logo. Oh, great idea. Also, great idea. Like this video and be sure to share it. Spread the love. 
Also, subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring that bell so you'll know about the next video. This is a journey.